We're standing by for the beginning of this rendezvous pitch maneuver is due to begin at 12.15 p.m. Central Time. Just a few minutes from now. You can see the uh, shadow of the spacecraft beginning to uh, creep up there on Discovery's right wing. But Discovery holding right at 650 feet away from the station. Station Discovery on the big loop, 650 feet. Station copy. So as Discovery flies with the International Space Station over South America, the station casting its shadow down there on the shuttle. Katie Coleman and Paulo Nespoli have taken up position inside the Zvezda service module. They have their cameras in hand. And they will begin to uh, take pictures of Discovery as soon as it uh, begins this uh, maneuver to uh, flip over on its back and show its underside to the crew so they can take a look at all the different heat shield tiles that are there. My call, initiating RPM, three, two, one, mark. So at 12.15 p.m. Central Time, Space Shuttle Discovery begins its final backflip maneuver known as the Rendezvous Pitch Maneuver. It will flip over on its back. Katie Coleman and Paulo Nespoli are in the Zvezda service module of the International Space Station. Both of them have cameras in hand, snapping away hundreds of pictures of Discovery during this maneuver. Paulo Nespoli has a lens that is 800 millimeters. Coleman has a 400 millimeter lens in her hands. They will take very detailed photographs of Discovery's heat shield, all the different tiles that are on the bottom of the shuttle to make sure that they are in uh, good shape after Discovery's ride into orbit two days ago. This is a historic moment for Discovery. It was the first shuttle to ever do this maneuver back on STS-114 in 2005. This RPM maneuver was created in the wake of Shuttle Columbia. That took place back in 2003. It was put into every shuttle mission that has visited the space station since then. It gives the uh, ground teams here in Houston 
a chance to uh, take a look at the shuttle in detail to make sure that the uh, outer part of the shuttle and the heat shield is as they expect it to be. As Katie Coleman and Paulo Nespoli take these pictures of the underside of Discovery, it's a very methodical way that they do this. They focus on certain areas of the shuttle on the bottom side. Station copies. Both Nespoli and Coleman have practiced this several times. They've worked uh, very closely with these two cameras, and they've uh, seen both the diagrams and video of the parts of the shuttle that they need to focus on. Discovery currently 582 feet away from the space station. Station Discovery and photos. Nespoli and Coleman have wrapped up their photographs of Discovery's heat shield. They spent 1 minute 29 seconds taking those pictures. As we mentioned, um, they take several hundred pictures between the two of them. Once we get an exact count later on today of how many they uh, took, we will make sure we pass that on to you. Uh, but they will begin the process of downlinking these photos to the ground teams here in Houston soon after Discovery docks. Discovery putting on quite a show there as uh, it and the space station fly 
over the northeastern part of South America, about to head out over the Atlantic Ocean. We are now less than an hour away from Discovery's docking. Discovery's crew has almost wrapped up this RPM maneuver. You can see the shadows uh, getting fairly long on the exterior of Discovery. This is why they talked about the window opening at 12.15 p.m. Central Time and 12.23 p.m. Central Time. They have to get proper lighting on Discovery to make sure that the pictures turn out as expected. But those shadows began to appear uh, right as predicted from the ground teams here in Houston.